to determine our end behavior of this function, we would have to look in our polynomial and try to determine, well, what's the highest power? In this case, x to the fifth power is our highest power. We focus on x to the fifth power, and what is its coefficient? Its coefficient is negative one half. So that means our highest power is odd here since it's five, and its coefficient is negative. So the end behavior of our polynomial is gonna be similar to the end behavior of negative x to the third power. So that means that as x goes to positive infinity, y is gonna go to negative infinity. And then as x goes to negative infinity, y is gonna go to positive infinity. And when we graph, it looks like it matches. When looking through our polynomial here, what is our highest power? Well, as you see, it's not in the first position. The highest power could be anywhere in our polynomial, and in this case, our highest power is going to be the seventh power. So let's focus in on x to the seventh. x to the seventh is an odd power. Its coefficient is positive two, so its coefficient is positive. That means that our polynomial is going to behave like positive x to the third power, which just means that as x goes to positive infinity, y is going to go to positive infinity. And then as x goes to negative infinity, y is going to go to negative infinity. And when we plot our graph, it looks like that's correct.